What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game called Suicide Guy. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So Suicide Guy is essentially a puzzle game where you've got to figure you're stuck in a dream and you've got to figure out, you know how when you die in your dream you always wake up? Well this guy's stuck in a dream and he can't wake up and so he's got to find creative ways to off himself so that he'll wake up. That's the, at least the general synopsis that I got. Let's check the game out. Let's go ahead and play. Let's jump on in. Dude, that guy needs to take his, he needs to take his clothing to the laundromat, son. Dude, there is way too much mustard and barbecue sauce on that thing. You ever try getting the food in your mouth? Like, I don't know. It, it might help out with your nutrition thing. Am I dreaming? Oh, God. I am inside the dreamses. What is this right here? We have, like, a couch with, like, the TV. Okay, we can turn on up. TV no work right now. I can pick up the radio. I can throw the radio. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, my guess is that I'm just supposed to, like, jump off a building. And like, wee! Well, there you go. I'm pretty sure we succeeded. Yay! He woke up! Huzzah! We've killed ourselves and we can get back to watching trash TV. That pesky sleep getting in the way of your beer drinking and donut eating while you watch TV. It's messed up, man. It's messed up. It's a hard life we live. It's a hard life we live, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta eat donuts and drink beer and live the dream with a picture of a Zeppelin on your wall. What kind of, like, what store do you go to to get a picture of a Zeppelin that you hang on your wall? I'm a little, ah, one beer is all it takes. His alcohol tolerance is down. Way, way down. Like, seriously, like, one beer puts you to sleep? Good lord. Alright, so we're inside of what looks like a restaurant, and we are a chef. Okay, so maybe we work at a hamburger joint. Seems about right to me. Oh, no. Uh, I'm pretty sure dropping a beer is the emergency area. Like, oh, God, we dropped the beer. Uh, we've got, I need to wake up as soon as possible before the beer hits the floor. Gotcha. We got like a broom over here. Uh, what can I kill myself with? To enter the level, lift click on, okay, am I, oh, so maybe this is like the level hub or whatever? Okay, that's pretty cool. There's like a milkshake over there that looks pretty delicious. I love milkshakes. Milkshakes are what's up. I get the cookies and creams ones, and then I put like a little bit of the like chocolate. You know, you gotta put like the, you gotta put some, uh, they call them, some people call them jimmies. I call them sprinkles because I don't put jimmies on anything that I eat. That seems unsanitary. Burger! Hello, burger. Ooh, I can eat the burger. Is the burger poisonous? What about this? Can I get in the cash drawer? No, I can't get in the cash drawer. Man, I can't even be rich in my dreams. This is messed up. Can't even be rich in my own dreams. That's brutal, man. That's how you know life has whipped it out of you. Alright, so we're on a train. Eh, I'll leave the music on. It's pleasant and it makes me happy. Uh, we've got a suitcase over here. Looks a little small for a suit, but you know what? Maybe you got a very little suit. Maybe you're a small man. We will turn that right there. And then what's it going to happen? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Oh, I'm on top of a train right now. Good sweet lord. Bung dicka bung dicka bung dicka bung dicka I don't think I can get up that way, but can I kill myself by jumping off the train? That apparently did not kill me. Holy shit, dude, we were moving pretty fast. I figured that'd at least break like a leg or I don't know, sever a tonsil or something. That se Oh! That fixed it too. Absolutely. Seems like a great plan, actually, all things considered. That seemed easy enough. I think what we want to do next is this one right here. Apparently, it's going to be a buzzsaw level. It's going to get a little bit grisly, and I ain't talking about no bears. All right. What do we have going on here? We're in some kind of sawmill. Uh, we've got music, which is great. I actually think the music really adds to the game. It makes it a lot more thematic. So, we can grab items by picking up this. Oh, cool. Can I take that wherever I want? Oh, I can. Cool. All right. So, we'll put that right there, and then we can pull ourselves up like so. There's a couple of logs over there. I mean, technically, you kill yourself with those. Just headbutt them really hard. You might just brain yourself and end up with a severe concussion. Or you may luck out and die. i got a screwdriver here. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. I really like the way that that interacts. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll get the screws. A little bit of screwing on camera here. Hopefully, it doesn't get me in trouble with the YouTubes. Uh, we can probably crouch to get through here by holding down control, and that does seem to be the case. Um, anything else going on in here? We've got ourselves... What does this do? It looks like it's like a stamper or something. 
Okay, so I've got to figure out some way to kill myself with the stamper. I wonder if you, like, throw this. Let's see. We can press and hold E. Okay. Well, that didn't land. Let's try again. I bet we can make this happen if we really try hard. Although I bet, yeah, there's one of these things here, too. we got to get the trophy on every level. Otherwise, how can we be the best player that we can be? This is the internet. It's all about trying hard and, like, giving a shit and stuff. Got him! And I've been smushed. Huzzah. We've managed to kill ourselves yet again. Um, but we're still in our little dream hub. Unfortunately, we will never be able to get back and stop that beer from hitting the floor unless we can get killed by what looks like aliens, apparently. Let's go get killed by aliens. Extraterrestrials! Alright, so inside a spaceship here, ah, uh, this is Spock to Mr. Sulu. Take us forward. I don't think there's any music playing on this level. What does this do? I don't know what that button does. I assume it does something. Maybe it goes to this door right here. Ooh, it's one of the slidey doors. It's one of those convenient... You never notice how in sci-fi, though, nobody uses normal doors? Like, is there something against using normal doors? That's always been my question. Is that, like, I'm playing Mass Effect right now, right? Mass Effect 3. And how many times is a door hacked and you can't just, like, get through it? Why not just build normal doors? So that's not a problem. You could just, like, kick them down. It seems like the lockdowns are pointless anyways because you're always going to figure out a way. So you might as well build a thing out of plasterboard and just save the government budget, man. I'm just saying. Taxpayers subsidizing doors that you can hack through anyways. Oh, there's companion cubes in here. Okay. Play with my cubes. I can't get over there, but I will have to get up here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Climbing skills. Uh, do you drag? What do you do? Do you drag or do I pick you up? Ah, you drag. Okay. Got you. Don't know where I'm going to need you. Let's have another look around the room real fast to see if there's anything in here that I can make happen. Uh, with the blocks right there as they are. What does this button do? Uh, it sounds like it powered on the ship. My guess is that I've already messed this up. I bet what I have to do is I have to take this block and I have to put it under this ledge right here, push it onto this one, and then drag them both over. That's what I bet I have to do. I wasn't really thinking about it because I was thinking about going forward because I don't play around with that back. And just, mm, there's three of them. Okay. Uh, definitely need to get up and out of here. And until I do, this is kind of a very real problem. My guess is that you put two like that and then one to like get on top of and then you jump on top of the other two then you jump up to there although the gap is on that side so the blocks will have to be over here in the front room I restarted the level there's also a little doodad handle right here oh we're turning the ship dude we're doing space donuts hell yeah give me a spaceship and I'm gonna do donuts in it alright there's another one over here what does this one do ooh we can go up down too we've got we've got extra axes we've got extra axes do I have to get the thing again? Okay. I don't have to get the thing again. Let's go do this block puzzle. So inside of here, I'm thinking success is more or less predicated upon us getting one block on top of another. And if we can do that, I bet we get up out of here. Although, that might not work either. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to do my best to try and give this a try. Let's take this block right here. Yup. And then it comes right here. Nope, right there. There we go. Sometimes you gotta slam a block against the wall. Teach it a lesson. Let it know who's boss. And then on this side, we're going to ever so gently just love tap that off the edge. I always treat my companion cubes with love. There we go. And so release the block. Yes, no longer hold that. And then I'm gonna shift it backwards just in case. Drop that block. And when I pull this one, are they both gonna go? They are. Oh, but I can't go too fast. Okay. All right, let me do this carefully. That looks about right to me. I don't think that's going to matter. We'll put it right there. And then that gets us close enough to where I jump from that one to that one. Oh, man. There we go. We go all the way up the side like Spooderman. And then we climb back up to here. Cool. We got them parkouring skills. We parkour it on up. And then I'm going to go check and make sure the door's open from that button we pushed. 
So a fun factoid about the way my day is going, you apparently have to push the button in order for the button to work. That was the pivotal part of the entire equation that I had failed to account for. That was the uh, that was the x variable that I just never I, I just never accounted for. What does this do? Oh, it lets us warp jump. Hell yeah. To new galaxies, exploring new things, eating new foods that are probably made of questionable sources. Did that actually do anything? So that allowed our warp button to come back on. Well, it seems to me like that doesn't really do what I wanted it to do. Maybe I have to aim the ship at something? Let me look through here. I bet I have to aim it at like a star or something that's nearby. Because there's windows here, and my guess is that it wants me to figure out what I'm supposed to fly the ship into. Probably just into the sun or something. But I think I might be looking in completely the wrong direction. Let me try over here. So stop that. Let's try the X vector now for a little bit. Oh, there was a thing over there. I saw it. There it is. So there's a star up above us. So that's about right. No. We want that to be right there. And then we got to roll this upwards. We're almost facing it. It's pretty close. We're going to get it, though. Let me angle this out. Oh, I think that's pretty good right there. Here we go. Are we actually getting closer to that object? I don't feel like we're getting closer. Oh, maybe we are. It does look like it's getting bigger. Straight into the sun! It's the only way. I will be shiny and chrome. Witness me! Oh, there it goes! Ah! And we're dead. Yay, spacefaring deaths. I've done that more than I'd like to admit, though, in Space Sims. Sometimes you crash into a gravitational body. You know, sometimes you don't have a choice in the matter. The gravity's just like, nope, sorry, your thrust vector is not good enough to get you out of here. And then just <laughs> straight into the side. That's the sound it makes when you crash into a planet. Just <laughs> Fun factoid about space. They say you can't hear sounds in space, but that's what it sounds like when you smash into a planet. Alright, so what we got going on here? Now uh, we're in some kind of like ancient temple. Alright. I don't know precisely how I feel about this. But there's a golden idol right there. Obviously when we take it we're going to get crushed by spikes. So having a brief look around, is there anything that can kill me down there? Like snakes or anything? No, there's no snakes in here? Damn. Snakes are always good for getting yourself killed. Those nope ropes just choking you out. The nope rope with the chokes. What does this do? Can I move this? I cannot. It's in place. Okay. Then we will ignore that from now on. Let's go over here. We've got a treasure chest on this side. Don't really care if it's booby trapped because... Oh, maybe I just need a key in order to make that work. Oh, I'm bringing it with me. They say you can't bring it with you, but when it comes to treasure chests... gotta. Oh, I gotta pin that right there. Okay, I should have seen that coming. Treasure chest, you're the best. Working my way through a mummy nest. Gonna put you on a button. It's gonna be so freaking awesome. I'm gonna let you go and run in through this door because I'm going and I don't know what I'm doing because I... Oh, maybe I gotta bring it over here. Will it go over this right here? Because that last button only needed to be pushed like one time. Don't push him because he's close to the door. Alright, so then we pin that down. Looks solid to me. We're solving some ancient puzzles here. On um, this side, we need three objects in order to make this work. Does the radio work? Is the radio heavy enough? I'm going to see. Radio, are you heavy enough? Radio is not heavy enough, so we're not going to worry about the radio for right now. <gasps> is that a slingshot? Give me the slingshot, bro. I need a slingshot bad. Why this would be here. We're like, this was the slingshot used to circumcise the king. I'm like, ugh. Okay, and it shoots little goo balls. So, how does that help me? Oh, there's a key up there. Can I shoot the key? Oh, buddy, we're getting it now. 
We are getting it now. Is there anything else I can do with the slingshot? I can virtually guarantee you there is. This game's kind of cool. It's a unique little title. I like it. The controls feel good. They've come up with like a unified artistic theme that makes the whole thing like stick together. Kind of like a Team Fortress meets Saturday morning cartoons vibe. I like it. Oh, I think I got to go like this. There we go. And so there's Indiana Jones's skull. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, you know, doing pretty solid. Ah, got kind of a weird calcified thing going on inside one of my septums. But, you know, it's all good. Life is moving along. All right, so the skull will hold one down. So that's good. The chest will probably hold the second one down. And then I'll step on the third one. Provided I can still move the chest, which it looks like I can. So, chest, you come over here. I will place you right there. And then I will stand on this one. And we have defeated yet another door. Because we are the dude. I'll bring my slingshot with me. Uh, because... It's pretty dope. There's also slung shot, which is an ancient term for like a big rock on a rope that sailors used to carry around to murder people when they had shore leave. So a slingshot and slung shot are two completely different things. I bet I can hit that right there. Yup. Flicking switches with booger balls. Hell yeah. We are <gasps> treasure trove. But then you remember it's just a dream and you're all like disappointed. That's what I get from membering. Give me my give me my ish, fool. There we go. Oh, you can make it fire while it's on the ground. That's kind of an interesting mechanic. I don't know if that's an oversight or what, but hell, it's working for me for right now, so let's go do this thing. Time to get killed by a trap. All right, so we'll drop that right there. That goes, like, in there. And then, oh, I can blink. Why do I have a blunk button? Oh, dude, there's going to be something I have to look at, and if I don't look at it, it's going to murder me, like, uh, containment breach style, SCP style. Okay, so I need this big rock right here. There we go. Stay down, purple button. Stay down. And then I'm going to jump across because, oh, I'm bad at jumping. Now I'm going to jump across because I am, oh, shift makes you not sprint. It makes you walk. Okay, that's funsies. I'm sure I'll make it past this challenge at some point. Why did... What? What just happened? Did the rock roll off of it? Maybe I've got to throw the rock. Oh, you just got to hit a like adjacent edge in order to do the climb. You can't hit the corner. Okay. Makes sense to me, although I don't have my slingshot anymore. So hopefully I don't need that for anything. Because if I do, we got problems. That door didn't shut behind me? Alright, so we're looking for a rock right now. So there's one. Uh, that's actually a pretty good throw for a rock that big. I'm not even going to be a hater about it. That's pretty solid. Also, he's like no hand climbing a ladder while holding a boulder. Alright, so we can go like this. Up. Over. I think I can jump over right here. Yeah, there we go. But do I even want to be over here? I do, actually, because there's other little pedestals that will take me around. Okay, we got to hurry. I think we're almost out of time. The last one, like, released itself, so I don't want to be that dude. And then that puts us on the platform for the Golden Skull! The Golden Skull! Look at those chompers right there. This boy looks like he's been doing some... He looks like he mines with his teeth. I was a coal miner, spike pit. I think I'm going to go for the little spikes and just take the... There we go. The little spikes seem like the better bet right there. I felt like it was going to turn out a tad better for me. Like, it was one of those things I was going to be able to walk away from a little bit easier. Uh, we've also got... What is this right here? Is that, like, hunting? What is that? I don't know what that is. He's got, like, a saran wrap on him or something like that. I don't even know. Oh, my good lord. The sound is, like, overloading. Okay. I am in a factory of some kind. It looks like I'm making myself some kind of golem. Okay. Uh, can these boxes move? These boxes cannot move, but they can be... Oh, they can be moved. Interesting. Okay. But I'm going to figure out a way to get, like, behind him. So that's not really going to be that helpful. So what am I trying to even do right now, out of curiosity? We have a pizza... 
I'm going to eat that pizza. Uh, it won't let me eat that pizza. It's dusty, dude. I dropped that thing and it went, <laughs> and it just like dusted up the entire table. Let's go to the top and we'll kind of take a look and see what's going on up here too. And it looks like I can hook jumper cables to him. Okay. I know a few people that I think have already had that happen to him. They're just not right, you know what I mean? Like, there's just something wrong. And we do that on that side. So those are hooked up. Uh, it sounds like we're waiting on thunder and lightning or something. So we probably have to put up, like, a lightning rod or something of that kind. That's just a light. I thought maybe that was a rock or a boulder or something. Yeah, these turbines don't appear to be working. What's in here? Just a cardboard box? Okay. That's cool. We've also got some books. We've got a chair. Oh, the door opened right there. I don't know how that happened, but it looks like the door is open. Oh, we can just walk straight through it. It must have just been miraculously closed when I walked by and tried to press the button on it. Okay. Let's go through, and I think on the roof we're probably going to have to get struck by lightning or something like that. Or get crushed by our own Frankenstein monster. Also seems like a pretty good possibility. Uh, can I go in here? I can. Okay. So what's this do? That powers on our Tesla coil. Okay, looks good. And then on this side over here, what is... Oh my good sweet Jeebus. Oh, that opens the skylight. Okay, is there any way I can murder myself with that just by getting shocked by it? What's down this way? Is that just the opposite side? There was another door. Oh shit, there's a massive golem in here. Nice. I'm gonna go kick him in the dick until he murders me. I guess that's what it took. That's what it took. Uh, this game is called Suicide Guy. If you want to see more episodes, leave lots of likes and comments and whatnot down below. Let me know that you liked it. Other than that, I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. It's been fun, everybody. Bye-bye.